Enhancement cores have always been an important material when it comes to upgrading armor, but with Armor 2.0, upgrade materials are even more important than ever. In today's video, I'll be going over the sources of these upgrade materials and the best ways to farm them for both solo players and those of you in a team. Hey, what's up guys? I'm Marshix, and if it's our first time meeting, it's my main goal with this channel to inform Destiny 2 players, such as yourself, of easy and efficient ways to overcome whatever challenge you might be facing. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for more content and guides similar to this, it would really mean a lot. Like the intro says, we're going over the best ways to get enhancement cores, as well as enhancement prisms and ascendant shards. If you already know about all the sources, skip to the time on the screen, this will take you straight to the farm part of the video. To start off, I want everyone to be clear that it takes 10 enhancement cores to make one enhancement prism, 10 enhancement prisms for an ascendant shard, and using basic math, we know that means 100 cores for one ascendant shard. To masterwork each piece of legendary armor, you will need three cores, three prisms, and an ascendant shard for each piece. And exotics take five cores, five prisms, and three ascendant shards. With all of this in mind, let's check out the sources of these materials. Every week you can run the Pit of Heresy. This dungeon can be completed solo, however it's much easier and much faster if you're in a group. Upon completion, you are guaranteed a masterwork piece of armor. Dismantling any masterwork piece of armor will give you six cores and six prisms. This can be done on all three of your characters every week, resulting in 18 cores and 18 prisms. Nightfalls can be run as many times as you want each week. Obviously, the higher the difficulty, the better the rewards. To get the best chance of rewards, you will need to kill any champions that spawn during the strike. If you feel like running Nightfalls and you have a good group, run the Master Nightfall. This can drop Enhancement Prisms, Ascendant Shards, and you can even get Exotics at a common drop rate. If your group isn't the best, try the Legend Nightfall. This can still drop Enhancement Prisms and Exotics, but it's much easier and much faster. The main downside, however, Prisms are less common and you can't get Ascendant Shards. Solo players, you probably won't be able to solo these difficulties at an efficient rate. The best difficulty for you is the hero difficulty. This can still drop prisms, cores, and exotics, but it's all at a lower drop rate. Every day you can complete four easy daily bounties from the gunsmith on each of your characters. Each of these will give you one enhancement core. These bounties are all based on getting kills with certain weapons. While you grind other activities, you can just pop on whatever weapons you need for the bounties and then swap back to your normal loadout once they're done. Another way to get enhancement cores is to talk to Spider. Every day he will sell enhancement cores, starting at 10 legendary shards and doubling each time you buy it. I wouldn't buy more than two a day because the third core you buy will be 40 shards, which is more than the first two combined. While you're at Spider, if you already have Ghost Fragments, you can pick up 7 different bounties that will give an enhancement core for each one completed. These can take a while for the target to spawn and patrol, so only pick these up if it's going to be convenient to you. Another perk with Spider is being able to buy planetary materials. If you drop a few hundred or a few thousand legendary shards on planetary materials, you can turn them into the corresponding planetary vendor, and they have a chance to drop year one masterworked weapons. These will only drop one or two cores, but you will be able to get a large quantity in a short amount of time. This method is also kind of cheap due to the fact that you're going to be dismantling the gear and getting legendary shards back. You can also get enhancement cores from any curated rolls on weapons and old armor. Year one masterworks will drop one or two enhancement cores, and year two and three curated rolls will always drop seven cores. The following will be some sources of curated rolls. Curated weapons can take a while to get due to their random drop rates, so you might be better off just running Nightfalls, but you might want to do these if it's convenient to you. These sources are all year one and year two raids, Gambit Prime weapons, Reckoning weapons, Ascendant challenges, both dungeons, Black Armory forges, Altars of Sorrow, Heroic Menagerie, Pinnacle and Ritual quests, holiday events, and probably more. I'm sure I missed something. So now that we know the main sources of upgrade materials, what's the best way to farm them? Okay, reset comes along. You want to start on your main character and go to the tower. Pick up gunsmith daily bounties, equip the weapons for the bounties, go talk to the spider and buy two cores, run the pit of heresy up until the boss. If you have a group, change characters and join back so you still have a checkpoint on your main character. Defeat the boss on each of your characters and dismantle the masterworked armor. This will be a pinnacle drop, so don't dismantle it until you have another piece of gear higher in that slot. Next, hop into the nightfall. 
If you have a group, do the Legend or Master Nightfall. If you're solo, do the Hero Nightfall. By now, you should have the Gunsmith bounties completed and turned in. If not, keep running Nightfalls until you do. Next, switch characters and complete Gunsmith bounties in the Nightfall again. Then once again, switch to your third character and complete bounties while running the Nightfall. After that, you can continue running Nightfalls or do any of the miscellaneous things I mentioned in the first part of the video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, be sure to subscribe for more Destiny 2 content coming soon. Did you find this farm too effective? Go check out my video on how to waste enhancement cores. I want to thank you all for watching this far. I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.